Try and do a few more left hand scales, all right, so that you're a little bit more confident um, on where the turns are and what you need in each scale. The F major we did today, and that's the one with B flat. Okay. And then we also did D minor in the left hand, and that's the one with the bridge over those two black keys. It's B flat and C sharp. I don't mind if you don't know the names. It's more that you know which black keys you need to use. All right. So a bit more left hand scale practice. And then your broken chords also, sometimes you go off a little bit with your fingering. So with each key, if you're doing C major, maybe have another go at doing those chords. Well, that's how you first learnt them, all right? Um, if it was A minor, B that, that's a bit low. Let's do it a bit higher. Let's do it there. Five, three and one, five, two and one. Okay, you can still play the broken chord in that way but maybe do the chords first just to really get your fingers a bit more certain the right hand if i do f major have we done f major actually no i don't think we have well, let's do g major instead so g major is that one with that fingering so again you could just do the chords all right, so you don't use four fingers at all in broken chords, and it's whether you're using the second finger or the third finger, that's where you've got to, to get it right. The right hand has the third finger, then the second finger, then the third finger. The left hand has the third finger, then the third finger again, and then the second finger is not the same, but it's only the two and three that you have to watch out. Otherwise, it should be just five and thumb. 